to be part of your wedding. I know you don't know me from anybody, but it's uh, an honor to be part of your wedding. And I think we're ready to begin. Well, what a difference 24 hours makes. It's a beautiful day. It doesn't get any better than this in Bermuda. And this is a perfect day. Do you know why this is such a great day? You know why this is such a great day. Because the two of you are in this place, in this moment, you're joining your lives together is husband and wife. And marriage is one of God's true gifts to us, I believe, because it's a place where a man and a woman can come together and they can experience and practice everything that love is meant to be. And since this is also a holy moment, let's begin by asking God's presence with us here today, shall we? Almighty and gracious God, our Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing for Todd and Melissa as they join their lives together today. We ask that you be an honored guest at this wedding and enable them to speak the vows they're about to make in sincerity and truth. Amen. Well, when I look at all the details that you've put together to make today happen, um, I'm going to ask you a question that I already know the answer to. Uh, do you come here freely and without any reservation to join your lives together today in marriage? Yes. And you said it at the same time. It's perfect. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, listen to these words from 1 Corinthians 13, which give a description of love, which I believe the two of you know something about, and that's why we're here on this beach today. And it says, if I speak in the tongues of men and angels that have not love, I'm only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy, and I'm smart enough to fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that could even move mountains, but have not love, still I'm nothing. If I give everything I own to the poor, if I surrender my body as a, to the flames as a martyr for a cause, but have not love, still I'm nothing. Because love is patient, love is kind, it doesn't envy or boast, it's not proud or rude, it's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices with the truth, and it always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, and it always perseveres love will never fail you and these three will remain faith hope and love but the greatest of these is love <clears throat> and this day this moment is a perfect opportunity 
to stop for a minute and think about what love is really all about. And when we do that, we realize that love is right here, right now on this beach. And it's real, it's true, it's the most important thing in all of our lives. Yes, you can practice, you know. Because that's, you know, couples don't practice that enough before the final one. And uh, because love creates our fondest memories, like this wedding today. It's the foundation for everything we dream about. And it's the inspiration for everything we accomplish in life that's noble and good. And love is a promise that's always kept. It's a fortune that can't be spent. And it's a seed that flourishes even in the most unlikely places. And love is tender and it's steadfast and it motivates us to give our very best to somebody that they might grow and be happy. And so as you go forward from this moment as husband and wife, remember that your love is always stronger than anything that comes against you. Uh, learn the wisdom of compromise, for it's better to bend a little bit than it is to break. Believe the best in each other rather than the worst, because people have a way of living up or down according to your expectations of them. Be quick to give and receive forgiveness, and try your best never to go to bed angry at each other. And here are five trick shots I've learned in 30 years of marriage that I'll pass on to you today in closing. Spend quality time together uh, once a week. That means go out on some sort of date. Uh, complete an act of service for each other every day. Kiss and hug often, which you two already have a head start on there. And uh, be on the lookout for special gifts to surprise each other with and to mark special occasions in your lives together. And take every opportunity to sincerely affirm each other. Just make the commitment today to do all you can to nurture and develop the love between you. And going forward from this moment, as husband and wife, your lives are going to be filled with a richness of happiness and joy. Well, now it's time for the two of you to do a little talking. Are you ready? Why don't you turn and face each other? <clears throat> she looks so comfortable with that elegant bouquet there. One, that's great. I don't know why brides always give up their their bouquets during the service. I think it looks so pretty. Well, again, more questions I know the answers to. Todd, do you take Melissa to be your wife, and do you promise before God and these witnesses that you'll love her, comfort her? honor her and keep her, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for Melissa alone, will you do your best to be a good husband to her for as long as you both shall live? I will. Excellent. Do you promise before God and these witnesses that you'll love him, comfort him, honor him and keep him, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for Todd alone, will you do your best to be a good wife to him for as long as you both shall live? Todd, look in this beautiful woman's eyes and repeat after me. Okay. I, Todd, take you, Melissa, to be my wife. I, Todd, take you, Melissa, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. The good times and the bad times. The good times and bad times. And in sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. I'll nurture your dreams. I'll nurture your dreams. I'll protect you from harm. I'll protect you from harm. And I'll encourage you to be your best. And I'll encourage you to be your best. I will love you. I will love you. Honor you. And cherish, you and cherish you for the rest of my life. Let's take that in for a minute. Some things you don't rush past. <laughs> Melissa, I'm Melissa, take you Todd to be my husband. I'm Melissa, take you Todd to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. The good times and the bad times. The good times and the bad times. And in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I'll nurture your dreams. I'll protect you from harm, and I'll encourage you to be your best. I will love you, honor you, and cherish you for the rest of my life. Excellent. Now, I understand that you have at least one special ring here, so... What? I do. They're both special, but one's particularly special. Does he know all the story of this? No? I understand this was your, made from your grandfather's That's right. ring, who raised you. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about that on the way up here, and, and uh, I can't help but think that, you know, your grandfather your, is the reason why you're standing here on this beach today committing to love Melissa for the rest of her lives because of the things that he taught you and the love that he gave to you. And that's put you in a unique position as a man you know, to marry 
Melissa and I just think it's, I feel like he's here with us today. And I feel like, you know, he'd be really proud of the two of you. You know, did he know you? Did you ever get to? I just feel like he'd be delighted, don't you? Uh, that you found each other and that you're spending his, your lives together. So, and so these rings are, I mean, they're obviously precious, but because of what they mean to the two of you, they are priceless uh, and they're infinitely valuable. And uh, will you take uh, Melissa's ring, put it on her finger and repeat after me? Why are you turning it over? Yeah. It goes under it. I give you this ring. You repeat after me. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my promise. As a symbol of my promise. To love you. To love you. And be faithful to you. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. With this ring. With this ring. I join my life with yours. And if you'll take this ring of made from Paul Paul's ring. Put it on his finger. I give you this ring, you this ring. As, a as a symbol of my promise to love you, love you. and be faithful to you, be faithful. With, all with all that I am and all that I have. With this ring, with this ring. I join my life with yours. <laughs> Go ahead, practice. you can practice. Go ahead. There's nothing in the books that say that you can't <laughs> practice that, you know. I mean, these guys have to work the camera so that they, you know, they get it just right. Well, would you join hands? Let me pray for you. Oh God, Lord of life and love eternal and the creator of all that is good and the giver of all joy, we thank you for the gift of marriage. We bless you for the joy which Melissa and Todd have found in each other and for the covenant which they've just made before you. Gracious Father, whose love is everlasting, grant that Todd and Melissa may live together in unity and love all the days of their life. Give them health, prosperity, and peace, and look with favor upon the home they'll make together. Defend them against evil from within and without, and supply all their needs according to the riches of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Well, you two have promised each other that you'll live together in unity and love as husband and wife. For the rest of your lives. You've declared the same by the promise of your vows, the exchange of those beautiful rings, and the signing of the register in just a few minutes. So I declare that you're husband and wife. So Todd, now's the time to put all that practice to work. and promises how to be brave how can I love when I'm afraid to fall but watching you stand alone all of my doubt suddenly goes away somehow died every day waiting for you darling don't be afraid I've loved you for a thousand years I love you for a thousand more time stands still beauty Standing in front of me Every breath, every hour has come to this One step closer I have 
have died every day waiting for you Darling, don't be afraid I have loved you for a thousand years I love you for a thousand more And all along I believed I would find you Time has brought your heart to me I've loved you for a thousand years I love you for a thousand more La 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 Yeah.